What's going on people? My name is Theo. I'm back with another episode of Shakedown. Now this time we're going to be talking about Leaving Neverland. Leaving Neverland uh, starred two men, Wade Robson and Jimmy Shavechuk. And um, basically they were talking about um, meeting Michael Jackson and um, they met him when uh, they were very young. They're both now in their, uh, their 30s-ish. Um, so they discussed um, how they came to meet him, um, which was all very nice, how they'd done it. They discussed that for the first 15 minutes or so, but then they started talking about um, how dark it got. And by what, by dark, I mean very, very dark. It was so tough to hear. Uh, basically, they were talking about their sexual advances. Um, Michael leading the charge with that and uh, they talked about having all sex they talked about having full-blown sex um, they talked about um, watching um, pornography together uh, they talked about all of, all of that stuff it was very very uh, disturbing to hear I was so perturbed for me I had to kind of pause um, the documentary several times because I had to try and get my head around this interview it, it, their interviews it was so tough to hear and uh, and uh, I can't really sum up everything until the second part comes out which is later on this evening on channel 4 here in the UK and um, I'm but first instances I didn't want to believe what was going on but I was like, wow, I was um, kind of scratching my head, holding my hands up like this every time that I heard um, all the bad stuff that was going on. I couldn't really believe what I heard. So, so yeah, um, yeah, uh, obviously they, I've, I've, I've heard about the parents as well. Um, uh, they, for me, that was a little bit irresponsible Yes, it was exciting for them to go ahead and meet Michael Jackson. It, it really was exciting. But um, why didn't they step in to to just kind of... Like, they could have been a little bit more concerned. Knowing if that was my mother, my mother would have actually moved heaven and earth to see what was going on. Um, she wouldn't have, like, not gone down like that, you know. And I... I just feel that they could have actually done more um but i was horrified with what i've heard totally horrified so why did they feel the need to actually make this episode um sorry this documentary maybe it's because of money maybe it's because of fame or it may be because it was both whatever direction you want to look at it it's not going to bring any justice for michael because he is no longer here to even defend himself. I would personally love to ask him um, all of this stuff that he went through and everything. But let's have this right. Um, I res totally respect him, his music. I'm a fan of his music. What he's done, nobody's going to be able to do. Nobody. You can ask any artist in the world. They will tell you the same thing. Then nobody's going to be able to do what he's been able to do. Um, but I felt that it was unnecessary to do because of that reason but I just don't understand how they want to talk about it now 10 years on after his death why wouldn't they come uh, why wouldn't they do this whilst he was alive why didn't they go about doing this as he was alive he was acquitted um, you know during that 2000 and five or four five trial trial um he he looked like hell at the end of it and and but now that he's died why won't they leave him alone why would they want to drag up something like this now i don't know in myself whether or not i want to believe this or not but in my own head it was just so tough to hear i i couldn't even begin to even put words together to say that you know that yeah he is a paedophile he is he is a dangerous society and everything else 
But I have to look on it and say, like, look, he is eccentric. He has lost a childhood and he... Um, yes, he did get himself into a vulnerable situation. Um, not having the right people around him is part of that. Um, but the power and the wealth and the control that he had, that all culminated into um, how Michael was as a person, I felt. But it's not to say that he weren't um, weren't a nice guy. There were some things that he'd done that... that he was a nice guy. Yes, he he was happiest when he was on stage, but obviously he did hang around with children. Obviously, he is kind of strange when you see a grown man hanging out with with children. It's good that 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 you want to inspire them, but at the same time, spending time with them, doing things with them. Um, but in the case of what um what uh Jimmy Shavechuk and Wade Robson were talking about, it just escalated into something else it was tough it was really really tough to hear um if you haven't seen it yet go and watch it so what would this do for michael's legacy now radio stations have already pulled their music um his music from the playlist um there was a statue in one of the countries that's been pulled down um a lot of people are divided um, now that it's aired here in the UK it's still divi divided um, for me I found it so horrible to hear all of this stuff and it's not like I don't want to believe the truth or whatever he, he, yes he does have an eccentric side it's, it's got to be said he does and yes he was robbed of a childhood um, who knows, like, if, like, I don't know, who knows, but he's not even here to even talk about it, to defend himself, you know, I don't know how his family's going to feel about this, the estate has actually, um, sued, um, the makers of, um, Le Leaving Neverland, um, but it's, obviously, it's not going to stop anything, but, um, I know that also um, one of uh, Michael Jackson's um, nephews, one of the members of Free T, are looking to produce a, the documentary in response to all of this. Um, whether or not we'll ever see the light of day um, with that um, is is going to be remain to seen. But um, to me, to me, I just felt that it was an unnecessary thing to do. I can understand that this is all about getting their voice across. This is all about getting their voice heard. Um, this is all about just spreading some sort of awareness. I can understand that in 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 instance. But you're talking about a man who 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 could have actually I don't know. It's it like for me it was just that tough to hear. I'm finding it difficult to even talk about this. Even though I had stuff written down and what I wanted to say. Um, but I just kind of feel like he, um, both Wade and Jimmy, um, like, yes, they had a special time with him in the, in the first instance. But would you really be what I had to hear and everything else? I don't understand why they do, they need to do this. I really don't. I could get I could get that it's about money I can get it's about fame I can get all the things that's that's like that but you want to drag a, a guy's name through through the mob just to do it like I don't know if this is I don't know like I, I don't know like I feel as though um I feel as though is that in this day and age fame isn't all that it's cracked up to be I feel it I, I do feel it because you know you get people coming up and they, they they've they've made um, uh, accusations and anything whether or not it's true or not true, um, and they try to grab all this stuff that's going on. Yes, um, in Michael's in, um, case, he paid off Georgie Chandler, which to this day he hasn't even come out and actually uh, explained. Um, what's going on and everything we don't know we don't know what what's going on with him 
Um, and like you know, Michael's been trying to get like I, I know that people have been. Um, it's been known fact that people have tried to get settlements from 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 him and everything else. Um, it's been known that that, and he's tried to fight this. He tried to actually say of his innocence to say um, that I've never done this. I've uh, I haven't done this and everything else. You know, even with the living um, with Michael Jackson documentary with Martin Bashir. Um, obviously that, that it was supposed to give an insight into um, his world a little bit but obviously he's been talked about having to it, it talked about sleeping with um, um, a couple of boys in his own bed you know um, and that was the highlight of everybody what, what it was talked about and, and that um, I'm finding it hard to talk about so I've got the second part to talk about um, so I didn't want to spend too long talking about this but um, please um, let me know in the comments below whether or not you agree or disagree I'm gonna be back with um, another episode very very soon we're gonna talk about part two of this documentary because it's four hours long it's uh, spread it's been split into two parts and um, hopefully I can come up with a better summarization of to as to which how i feel about this but at this moment in time it's like i'm only I, I i've um i feel as though is that it was just so tough to hear but on the grand scheme of things it's it's going to be a lot more harder to hear come the second part um if you've watched it already please let me know what you think of it um do you agree that he's innocent or do you disagree that he's innocent I, I don't know what to feel to be honest I'm all I know is that I'm perturbed I'm shocked I'm I'm at a stage where you know it's just it's like for, for me it's the, for me I just felt like it just wasn't necessary to do because this guy has passed away and you know and I hoped that people would leave him alone you know I hope that people remembered him for his music. I hope people will still do remember him for his music because he has cheats. He has achieved something, which nobody else is going to be able to do. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, this has been episode forty-one. Uh, my take on leaving Neverland, and I'll be back with part two very, very soon. In the meantime, stay fresh, stay cool. Peace out.